good day everyone welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be sharing that how to fix this pc can't run windows 11 the pc must support secure boot now there can be some compatibility issues due to which you are not able to upgrade from windows 10 to windows 11. now these are basically because of the four major reasons number one your partition has been set to mbr instead of gpt your CSM support has been enabled, the secure mode has been disabled, and the legacy mode has been set instead of UEFI. Alright, so these all changes we will be making in this video to fix out this problem. So first, what you will have to do, you need to find it out that whether your partition has been set to MBR or GPT. So right click on your Windows icon, then from the suggestion you have to click on Disk Management. Now in the disk management on the left hand side where it says disk zero basic you need to make a right click on it choose properties another box will be up here from top menu option click on volumes and in the partition style you can see it's been set to GPT but if you see MBR on your end then you will have to convert MBR to GPT first and then we will move with the further troubleshooting. All right, so now in order to convert MBR to GPT, what you will have to do, make a right click on the Windows icon, then click on settings. Now here, click on system and scroll down to the bottom. Then you have to click on recovery. Then you have to click on advanced startup and choose restart now. And the computer will now be restarting in the advanced options. So you can see this kind of a screen will be coming up saying, please wait. And next, we will be getting a kind of a blue screen with some advanced options. All right, now here you have to click on troubleshoot. Then you will be getting an option of advanced option. Click on it. Then click on command prompt. Now, as I showed you that my partition style is already GPT, so I won't be running that command. But what you will have to do here, you will have to type MBR number two GPT dot exe space forward slash convert this command you will find in the description as well so you need to copy and paste here and then you need to hit the enter key now this will take some time in order to convert once it will be done you will be getting a message that it has been converted so after doing this you have to close it then again you have to click on turn off your pc and now you need to restart your pc in the bios mode and depending that what kind of motherboard you are using, it can be different BIOS key like F2, Delete, F9. There can be many other keys in order to enter your BIOS section. So if you are confused that how to enter the BIOS mode, then I have already created a video on BIOS shortcut where you can simply create a shortcut on your desktop and by just making a double click, you can enter the BIOS. So if you are not able to enter the BIOS, you can watch that video, create a shortcut and then you can enter the BIOS section. So once you enter your BIOS, we need to make some kind of changes like we need to disable the CSM support, we need to enable the secure boot and turn the legacy to UEFI mode. So you can click on the boot option from the top menu option and then here you have to look for the CSM support to so make sure it has been disabled. Then you have to look for the secure boot, make sure it's been enabled and then you also need to look for OS type and make sure that it's been set to UEFI. Now, in case if you don't find all these options in the boot section, then you can go in the security or in the advanced option. And somewhere you will be getting all these options of UEFI secured boot. So just follow the instructions, enable all these options. Then finally tap on the F10 key, click on save changes and let the computer boot up again. And next time when the computer boot up and you will try to upgrade to Windows 11, you would be able to successfully do that. And even if you have any problem related to secure boot where it's asking you to enable it, that problem will be also fi surely fixed. So hopefully guys, this short tutorial will surely help you. And if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe. And for any question, let me know in the comment section. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.